Hey guys, what's going on? It's been forever, right? I'm still here, still alive, working on the Jeeps. Um, let me show you what I'm working on tonight. Over the past couple weeks, um, I got an industrial sewing machine, learned how to sew, and made this top and doors. Doors are up there uh, for this build I've got going on. Uh, winter's coming. We got some cold weather rides, and Andrew doesn't like to be cold, and neither do I. So, got the top, and... Any good top needs a heater. I've never really been a fan of uh, the big old style heaters in these flat fender Jeeps. Some of them look cool, like they're Art Deco retro looking heaters, um, but I have big feet. So <laughs> if they're on the passenger side, they just take up a lot of room and uh, they're uh, kind of asthmatic little motors just, just don't cut it. So um, it's 2022, there's better options out there. Um, so I'm going to try one. So we're going to try an Inferno cab heater. These are cool little heaters. I just found them through a Google search. Uh, they're really designed for um, like side-by-sides and bobcats and things like that. So, um, but that's basically the same thing as the Jeep. So we have a very small space that's not insulated or sealed up very well. Um, limited space, small coolant capacity so i think it's going to be a good fit and the best thing about it is look how tiny this thing is okay it's smaller than my hand um in pretty much all directions so it's very compact unit has a super powerful spall brand blower on it these are made in the usa um you can buy them with different um setups it can be just a great these have defrost vents and uh, it comes with a really cool harness that's all wired up, has a high and low speed. It's a pretty cool switch. And all you need is a power and a ground. Everything's wired up, the switch plugs in. I just have it rigged up here to test it. And it uses a standard 5 8 heater hose, which is perfect. We're gonna tap right in to um, the bypass off the back of the head and uh, see how it goes. So inside the box, you can buy just the heater unit, but I found this kit, it's new, but it was an open box on eBay for like half the price um, as what I saw on their website. And it comes with the harness, the switch, the heater, so a bunch of zip ties, hose clamps and 90 degree elbows. Um, and a couple different styles of vents if you want to install these vents in your dash or whatever i think these are probably more for side by sides um, or like a defrost vent some grommets for the hoses uh, probably i don't know it's probably 10 foot of two inch or two and a half inch duct work and a ton of 5 8 heater hose so this is going to do this job and also give me um, spare for my other projects and then uh, like the warranty stuff and literature and instructions uh, some templates so this is the full kit i think this was for some john deere um i don't know if it's a skid steer or a like a gator side by side type thing but we're gonna make it work on this i think the toughest part is deciding where you want to mount it like i said the original willie's heaters were usually over here and they hung down about there and just not what I want. They had driver's side heaters too that were hidden a little better, um, but I'm going to try to mount it up under the dash. If I'm not using it, I don't want to see it. Same way with the switch. I'll try to kind of keep it hidden because um, I drive this thing mostly in nice weather, but when it's cold, I don't want to freeze to death. So um, it'll blow heat just out into the open. If the window fogs up bad, I might rig up some kind of retractable defrost thing, but I don't want to do anything permanent. So I decided I'm going to mount it um, up under the dash, up against the side of the glove box. Um, so there'll be a couple bolts right here, um, but you really won't see the heater. It's going to blow air down. Um, so all I really had to remove was the air cleaner. Um, so we're going to punch our hoses through right down here below the air cleaner so you won't even really see them because that's kind of going to be there. One hose will go up to the back of the head, and the other will come up to the water pump. All right, so I have my two holes marked with a pilot, 
and now we're going to drill them out to inch and three eighths to fit these grommets for the heater hoses. Probably my least favorite part. Don't really like drilling holes and stuff, but the air cleaner goes right there, so uh, you're not going to see it. Here's what it looks like with the grommets in place. So now we'll mount the heater and run the hoses through. The hoses are run. Just cut them long and let them hang. I'm going to see if the air box fits over that. If it doesn't, we're going to put 90s right at the firewall to get around the air cleaner. And here's the heater installed. Where is it? Four bolts. All right, it's getting late. It's getting dark. The heater is in and finished. I'm just going to wrap this video up. Uh, so it's up under there. I'll tidy up those wires later, but that's my foam charger cord. So you can't see it. It doesn't get in the way of the passenger's feet. And I just uh, double side tape mounted the switch here. So that's high and low and it blows right down there so i'll put the doors on and in another video i'll take some temperatures inside the cab and uh, compare them with and without the heater now i know you're probably looking i got rust holes here and stuff it's still going to be a huge improvement so 18,000 btus and uh, it's 12 volt and it fits right in there so this could be a cool option that i didn't know about for old willies jeeps so next video will be an update on the performance and uh, we'll go from there so thanks for watching catch you later